Why did you decide to forfeit this match? Well, I mean, wrestling is a combat sport, and it gets violent at times, and you get put in compromising holds and positions, and I just don't feel it's right that a boy should engage a girl in a manner like this. You have worked really hard for this. Uh, so has Cassie. You're both very passionate about your sport. She clearly understands, to get to the level that both of you are at, what this sport entails, that there are a lot of rough moments. And she would know, too, that you weren't going after her as a girl, but as an opponent. Being that she's okay with it, why, why can't you then, in fact, step in the ring with her? Well, like I just said, I mean, it, you get put in holds and, that are compromising. And, I mean, she deserves to be out there, but I do believe that if she does wrestle, she should wrestle other girls, and I should wrestle other boys. She doesn't always have the opportunity, of course, to, to wrestle only girls. Um, do you feel that you, you were cheating her out of an opportunity at all to give her a win in, in, in this way with a forfeit? Well, it, it's kind of a tough situation. Um, I don't believe so. I mean, um, I just had to stick to my convictions. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's hard for her, but um, I had to just hold on to what I, I decided in fifth grade, that I wouldn't wrestle a girl. And, and you know, that's not an easy thing for, for anyone to do at any age. You've had a lot of backlash since, since you made this decision as well. People have called you uh, a chauvinist. They've called you sexist. You've also had people who said you were chivalrous, that you were a gentleman. How are you dealing with all of those labels and names uh, being thrown at you? I mean, it's fine. I really don't care what the people say, but um, um, there's been some people that are for me and t people that are totally against me. But do you feel um, that any of those I know labels? I what I did was right. Do you feel that any of those labels fit you? Um, I don't. I mean, it's people's opinion, but uh, I just had to hold true to my convictions. And have you spoken to Cassie much since this happened? No, not really. I've spoken to her dad a little bit. Um, he's come up to me and talked to me. He's a real nice guy. What, what did he say about I your really decision? I haven't really spoken to her much. He said he totally agrees with it. And um, he knows I have as my, my convictions, and he totally, totally accepts it.